Yeah, this goes for Oblivion main quest video walkthrough part 6. Sorry about my last video that I cut off like that. The video ended and I wasn't really paying attention. But anyway, once you're there, just walk up, kill that guy. Watch out for the spike traps on the walls. If you see holes in the walls, don't go near them. If you do, be very careful. And this shows that that door needs a key. Go through this door right here. Do the plane of oblivion and walk across this bridge. Now, <coughs> right here, you want at this door you want to save before you go in because a you could die if it's on harder difficulty, or b when you kill the guy he could fall down to the middle and you can't really get to him there. And you'd have to walk all the way down there, but yeah. Once you're in here, there's a corpse there you can search for 13 gold or however many. I don't know why it's there. Then kill this guy. Search him. Take his key. I guess you don't have to talk to this guy right here. But I did. Okay, now go back into the plane of oblivion and go back into the gate. You are nearly at the tower, the top tower. Now go to the door that needed a key and it will now open for you. You are now very, very, I guess not very, but you are now closer to closing the oblivion gate. If you want to keep a guy, kill all the guys that he attacks. And don't worry, he's got some potions of healing, so as long as you don't attack him and you help him kill the people that are attacking him, he probably won't die. Kill a few people up here. There's a spike trap back there, and I didn't even notice it. I just walked right past it. Go into the blood feast. Go up. and go on this. Uh, the guy won't come with you, but if once you go through the door he will. So just keep walking. You won't have any, very much help for a little while, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, that guy kind of scared me. Go through this door right here. And I... I nearly attacked him because he scared me. I thought he was a danger person. Good thing I didn't though. Here's a health regeneration thing. It will regenerate it for a short time. You're now in the tower, or the main room, I guess, the room where the sigil stone is, which is exactly what you have to take out if you want to close the gate. Now, these Darth Maul guys are a real pain because they run away from you, and they also summon other people. Now, there's no more fighting, and you don't have to worry about escaping from the Oblivion Gate. Just grab the Sigil Stone, and wait for you to be warped out. For the use of Sigil Stones, you can use them to enchant your weapons or armor, but also be warned that once they're, um, once the armor or weapon is 
you know, if, it, if you enchant a weapon once the uses are up, the spell will have no effect and you'll have to get it repaired. Well, actually, you'd have to pay somewhere to get it recharged, so I wouldn't entirely recommend doing that. I would really recommend just selling them. And what you want to do is go back here to the guard and talk to them. Or him, I guess. <coughs> Sorry. And then... If you want to finish this quickly, or if you want to go back and regenerate on your items, say, I'm not ready yet, but if you're ready, go ahead and say you're ready. Then go and attack. And really, for attack, just go forward and walk through the big gate. Come on, Bukovach. And once you are here, clear out this plaza, try to keep your men alive. It will help if you want to do the side quest, the finish the complete side quest, breaking the siege at But you don't really, you don't have to do it. It's only good for later on in the main quest. So I would recommend doing breaking the siege at Kavach because it will help you a lit the tiniest bit later on. Now, if you walk into the chapel. Martin will be in here. All right, they're praying to the altar. Have you brought help? We've been trapped here since the day the altar rest. Let Martin yabber on, and then I'm gonna cut off right now because it ends soon. Yes, I'm a priest. You need a priest. I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? I don't know. It's strange. I, I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? No. I'm sorry, but even if what you say is true, I won't abandon these people to their fate. I'll go with you when we can all leave here together.